Hello beautifuls, this is Aromi here, and welcome back to XOXO Droplets here. We are here, a base route as per usual. Um, what day is it? Monday? Oh my god. I'm gonna run out of energy. Oh, there it goes. I have energy, don't wanna do anything. <laughs> we, are, we, are, we, are, we are here. Um, what's our, what's our... The relationship 97 we totally go, go go to the cafeteria we're up by two points great hello what can i do for you muffin hey babe i've got something i want to ask yes what do you think about going to the cafeteria with me tomorrow school cafeteria what for for a date what kind of date is that we can do that anytime during the week also are you saying we can go on a date anytime during the weekday as well <laughs> so hmm. So when I'm asked on a date, I expect an offer that's a little more exciting. Sorry. Well, sorry if I like to do things low-key sometimes. Low-key is an understatement. Will you come or not? I suppose... See you. Great. I'll meet you there at the normal lunchtime in front of the high school session. Ta-ta! See you later, love. I, I, you guys, one, one of you perfectly summed up Bay That he, he, like... What the heck did you guys say? Did I remove the notification? You summed it up so perfectly. Because I couldn't bring up I couldn't find the words to uh describe how Bay was being compared to uh Jeremy. Where is it? Uh Bay is rude in a very sweet way. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Thank you to the person that said that. I'm sure you know who you are. <laughs> I miss you. That's precious. Thank you for telling me. Can you miss me? I do, in fact. When we, when have we seen, when have we even seen each other? It couldn't possibly have been very recently, such as during the last school week. A school week. It feels like it's been a lifetime and a half. Yeah, I miss those chats we used to have. That's like the one we're not pre presenting to having. No chats exactly like this. I wish you could have them. Well, good news. We are having one. When? Now, Cookie. I don't believe it. Oh, you're te <laughs> you're teasing me. My mistake. It can be quite tricky to tell when you're pretending to be simple-minded or genuinely being so. You understand? Smiley face. I understand that I got you. Congratulations. This is an achievement for the record books. I know. Thank you. I love it. I love the interactions with these two. They're so cute. He might he might beat Nate at this point. Hey, uh, thanks for coming. <laughs> It's nothing, really. This is our cafeteria, and I have to eat just like everyone else does. Seriously? Really? I thought you could sustain yourself on just your ego and the unhappiness of others. Actually? Only when I'm on a diet, sweet, <laughs> sweet pea. That must be such a pain. Okay. Well, let's get our food. After you. No, after you, I insist. How thoughtful. See, I can still make this date like... Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, Bay, I'm not gonna judge you for how much you eat. You can get more than that. This is all I need, thank you. So you're still partially sustained by your ego and all that, then? <laughs> I'm not much of an eater. Uh -huh. I've seen you in the cafeteria during the week. You eat more than that. That's because I skip dinners on weekdays. What? Why? Because there's no way on earth that I'm going to come back to the school grounds after spending all day there for classes. Seriously? I thought you were one of those weirdos who likes school. <laughs> no, I can learn everything they teach me more effectively on my own. School does nothing but drain me. <laughs> of course. Bay knows better than anyone else. Uh, knows more, knows better than everyone else in the world, including professionally trained teachers. I don't know better than them. Yet. I just don't need them to stand there and explain things to me. I can grasp the concept myself. Thank you. If you can grasp concepts so easily, then why is school draining? It's not those kind of classes that are draining, silly. That's nothing. It's walking back and forth between the classes that's tiring. And sometimes they make me participate in gym class. You're such a nut. Oh my god, Bay, You're so wimpy <laughs> that you'd rather not eat than walk a little bit more. <sighs> yes, absolutely. Weekends are the only days when I have enough energy to bring myself back for another back, back here for another meal. Wow. Do you at least eat breakfast? Of course. It's the most important meal of the day. Besides, during the week, I had to walk here to go to school anyway, so there's no harm in coming a little early to get something to eat. 
Though, I only eat on the weekends every so often. So much for it being the most important meal of the day. I like sleeping. Fair in. enough. And wait, what do you mean sometimes you participate in gym? It means exactly what you just said, Gumdrop. Sometimes I have to exercise during the gym. Only sometimes? Yes, dear. I often set it out. How do you manage that? I'm very good at making reasonable people see my line of logic. And hiding. <laughs> cute. You're so cute. You're insane, apparently. Doesn't that seem like more work than just going into the class? No, it, it, it really isn't. Is that so? Hmm, mind showing me your hiding spots one of those one of these days? Sorry! Sorry, Sunshine, I can't. I need to make sure my location isn't compromised. I wouldn't survive if I had to go to gym every day. Come on, babe, it'd be fun. I'm sure you'd get lonely hiding all by yourself. It'd be so much better if you had someone to keep you company and maybe get all cozy with. Hmm. Alright, you can hide with me. If you find me first. Alright. I'll do it. Good luck, dear. Well, accepted, dude. well, that was certainly a thing that happened. Thank you for <laughs> inviting me. It was my pleasure. See you around. I thought that was cute. I can, I can keep up with Bay. He keeps up with me, so it's perfect. So that might mean... Ever, it won't be too bad, maybe. Oh, go on the bay. Yeah, obviously we don't have enough points to go to another date. But... This is 80... 90... 80... Just unlock for him. 70? So I might be able to go to the jury spot. Oh, I need to work. <laughs> I need to work to even take him out to- No, I chose the wrong option! That's not working, thank you. That's Jeremy's place. <laughs> That's not Bay's place. Hi, love. Start a convo. Ask it with... Ask it with Shiloh, I guess. Alright. I believe we have enough for like some lame date, right? The haunted house? Yes! Let's go! Good afternoon. Hi, Bay. Be interested in going out somewhere tomorrow? I wouldn't have picked up in the first place if I wasn't interested. Oh, really? Seriously? You don't always answer just to be polite or in case it's something important? No. Well, not when it comes to you at least. Wow. Wow, how douchey. <laughs> but whatever, I'm happy to hear you're interested in my calls. You're very well, well, you're very welcome. Now, what did you have in mind? I want to go to the haunted house at the amusement park. How precious. Mm-hmm. I am aware I'm very cute, but that doesn't answer my question. That wasn't a question, it was a statement. Oh well, in that case, I guess it's already decided. Meet me at the bus stop. Yes, dear. Fine, Dumpling, if you insist. See you then. Goodbye. Ah. Bay is so sweet. Just he just likes to, to punk us a little bit just for Okay. Oh, he's so cute. But why are you dressed so fancy for our haunted house? <laughs> okay, Bay. Just so you know, when we go up there, one of us is gonna have to be scared. <laughs> why exactly? Because that's the whole point of coming here. Well. Well, I'm afraid that's not going to happen. Clearly, clearly you're not scared, and cer I'm certainly not either. I figured to say something like that. Fine. Well, babe, take it down a couple notches. I can't handle how springy the outfit is. I do love when you use sarcasm. It's absolutely precious. Thanks. Now, would you mind actually explaining? It's rather simple, Sunshine. I'm not the kind of person who goes around in flip-flops and shorts. Oh, like Nate. <laughs> that is a shame. How about capris? Ah, of course not. So you always wear full-length pants? Uh, always, unless I'm going swimming. Damn, that's actually really depressing. I'm very sorry, but I'm sure that's all you have to say on the topic, so let's move on. Hey, I'm not done yet. Oh, you bounced back faster than I would have expected. I had assumed you'd pretend to be heartbroken for at least a couple more minutes. Oh, at least he knows us. I keep my pain on the inside. Anyways, shorts and sandals aren't all there. Aren't all there is to warmer weather. I mean, really, would even a drop of color have been too much for you? Gray is color, Cookie. <laughs> Hardly. 
and what makes gray less of a color than others. It's bland and boring. No one describes a grayscale picture as colorful, just because gray is technically a color. I find grayscale images rather pleasantly personal. That doesn't matter. Whatever the conversation about your outfit, <coughs> it's getting as bland as its color scheme. I'm done. I need a drink, holy cow. Okay. Wonderful. So, that is what it's like in an amusement park. A an amusement park haunted house. How charming. <laughs> it's terrifying! What? Bay, I need a comfort mirror. I won't be able to move. <laughs> oh, you. You don't have to do this, Cookie. I do, actually. And you need to get on making me feel better. Well, look at those curtains. You can tell by the way the fabric looks that they were made that way, rather than actually being old and tattered. It's a rather amateur. That's not what I meant. You don't realize I know that. Okay, I'll make this really simple for you. Let me hold your hand or arms while we go through the artificially spooky haunted house. Hmm, artificial fear in an artificial haunted house. There may be some sense to what you're doing after all. True. Exactly, now come over here. No thank you, Muffin. What? There's no way you could have a problem with that. True, I don't mind the idea of linking arms, but I cannot be seen with someone who is afraid of a place like this, even if it's just an act. Oh, brother, I thought you didn't care what, about, what anyone thought about you. Actually... That is only because the things I do are smart and correct, so if anyone thinks poorly of it, they are simply misguided or wrong. In this case, I will be doing something wrong. Very funny. What's so wrong about it? It is in poor taste. This house is a disgrace of true horror. I will only go through it through it with like-minded company who can recognize the silliness of it all. So wait, you agree to come because you're expecting me to be a... Okay, I'm not saying that word. <laughs> and make fun of everything? I was. <laughs> wow, why didn't you say so? I didn't assume I would need to. That is your default response to most things. Fair enough. I didn't think I was a, 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 a B word. <laughs> I thought I was so sarcastic, you know? I guess I can't let down an expectant audience. Then you're not going to keep up your little act? Nah, I'll just be my lovable normal self. Wonderful. Don't be too lovable, though. I still want you to make snide comments about this place. That is lovable me. Really? My mistake. Uh-huh. Can we still link arms? Hmm. Maybe some other time. We'll see how well you do. That's lame. <laughs> we actually have to please Bay this time instead of the guys pleasing us. This is so... This is... Ugh, I love this. Yes, this haunted house is indeed that. Alright, let's see this. That's cute. For such a sucky haunted house, it was pretty fun going through, huh? I suppose. It was good enough. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it too. It was cute. I like the little interaction with Bay. He might top Nate, to be honest. Ready? Okay. Uh, Bay, Prawn, and Shiloh. Oh, so we can already, my dude? What that? We need money. We only get $20 working with Bay. Bay, can you tell him to pay us more? Because, um, we're not getting paid enough. And I need to take you out on these dates. Seventy-two. Wasn't one of the options seventy? It was this one, right? Yep. Yes? Hey, Abeg! You free tomorrow? Of course! For you, of course. Groovy! Oh, you're so sweet, man! Wanna go to the Golden Rule Accessory Store? What an unexpectedly decent idea. Why is it... Why is that unexpected? Let's just say that you and I likely don't have the same taste in date locations. Except for right now, of course. Uh-huh. Are you gonna come or not? That's fine. I will. It might actually be a nice time. Wow, I'm so glad that you... Glad you think that... It, that... Think that's a possibility. You're welcome, sweet pea. It is a nice call. It's a compliment, after all. Right, I'll see you tomorrow in front of Rio. Ta-ta! Bye. Sweet. Bay. I mailed you a smooch. Thank you, but I think that it may have gotten lost in transition. Unfortunately, I didn't notice it come through at all. And I'll send more. No, so nothing. <laughs> I never use that emote. I haven't even thought to do that. I can do this all day. As can I, Ducky. Good, I don't care if you've decided you're 
gonna be the one who acts dumb now. This is what I want to do anyways. Peachy. Cute. Hey, good to see you. You too, dear. You look like a vampire at this moment. <laughs> if I pick out an accessory I like, you better not try to ruin it for me. I would never. You're afraid to pick, <laughs> pick out whatever you want, even if it is awful. Thanks. Welcome. It's nice to see you both of, both of you again. Hi, Adrian. You know Bay? Yes, he drops he shops here fairly often. Hmm. That's right. It's very unexpected, and I can see why you were surprised he knew me. Oh, brother. Well, whatever, Bay. Uh. Are you alright, Posey? Are you talking to me? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. Well, are you? Oh. Yes, I'm fine. Thank you for your concern. It's nothing, Gumdrop, but the way you were staring off into space, anyone would be concerned. Why were you doing that again? I was thinking. I see. <laughs> Why are you bullying him? Bay, get your butt over here. Let's shop. Leave him alone. Thinking is a wonderful thing to do, but maybe you should pay more attention to, to the here and now. Especially while you're in the middle of work. Don't you think, Starfish? Yes, that makes sense. Come on. Lay off, Bay. It was like two seconds. It was only a <laughs> suggestion. Yeah, sure. It I was. understand. Understand what? Um. The conversation? I should leave you to your browsing. Thank you for all, all of your advice. All of the advice. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Oh, well, you're very welcome. Everything okay for you, Bay? <laughs> he didn't offer to help us. Honestly, he needs to think more about what he's doing. <laughs> Please, that is not why you're annoyed. What's really going on? It's nothing, Cookie. Fine, I'll figure it out myself. Cute. Have fun with that. I will. Now I must have something to do with that little talk with Adrian. Very astute of you. Let's see. Are you mad because he didn't give you enough special attention? Or is it because he didn't act like you're the smartest person he's ever met? No. Wonderful attempt, though, Muffin. Mm -hmm. I'm not done yet. Is it because he didn't get mad at you? Why would I want that? Because all that stuff about you being concerned was obviously sarcasm. And if you're going to be that sar sarcastic, you probably want the person to acknowledge it. Well, at least someone noticed. What? So, I'm right? You're unhappy because he thought you actually meant what you were saying? I suppose that's one interpretation. You're such a nut. You can have your opinion, but I only find it a little irritating because someone of his age should be familiar with the concept. Mm. How could he not tell, or is he purposely ignoring it? I don't know which could be which would be more annoying. I'd wager he genuinely didn't notice. Then someone should explain it to him. Have fun with that. Oh. Oh, I'm not going to. Why not? You're the only one who cares. I'm positive I'm not the only one who thinks he needs better people skills, but I'm far too busy for more charity work. <laughs> Plus, you sound like a pretty major jerk if you had to explain to someone that when you said you cared about them, that you didn't actually mean it. Fair enough. Sheesh, I know I told you not to ruin the accessories I like with those backhanded comments you left, but you could have said something. So sorry. I wanted to leave it up to you. Yeah, right, you're still annoyed, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know what you mean, Duck. Uh-huh. Sure. Sure, dude. Bay is that customer. What if Adrian just had a bad day and doesn't want to deal with people, huh? Which is highly unlikely, but whatever. Uh, okay, 47. What's the next one we can do? 90. 75. It's probably the haunted house again. 80. 80. Yeah, the haunted house is the next. So glad you feel like talking to me and I an and answered my call. You're welcome. So what is it that you want? Let's go to the haunted house again. I think that's good and done with sunshine. Why should we go again? Come on. It was fun last time. So, 
So in most places, you only make things worse. This is a rarity. <laughs> really now? No, you always make things more entertaining, but I still want to go there again. Now that I've given such a good compliment, you have to say yes, right? Of course! Bye. That's what I thought. See you tomorrow. Some Same place, same time. Ta-ta! Thanks, my dude. We're running out of energy, man. Afternoon, sweet pea. Afternoon to you, too. Hmm. I still don't understand why you wanted to come back to this place. Because I like it. Not everyone has a complex motivation as you, Bang. Fair enough. It seems there are mostly children here today. Boo. Yeah, what a bummer. You don't like children? I can't make fun of kids. Oh. Are you really above that? Well, it depends. On what? If they think that they'll hear me, or if they think they'll be able to tell what I mean. I'm not heartless, you know? How precious. Huh, that doesn't sound like sarcasm. And I would know, like every other thing you say is sarcasm. Though I don't know why I'm surprised. You probably are heartless. <laughs> Literally, someone like you would have any need for such an organ. You're right, I traded it for a clarinet. What? Well... You see, I play the clarinet and an organ is another type of musical instrument. Wow. That was so... <laughs> that was kind of a stretch. You play the clarinet. I do. Why is it the first time hearing about this? It isn't important. It's just one of the many things I do with my spare time. Please, I should know if the guy I've been dating play... Wait! I've been dating him? Yo, we haven't... Mm. Excuse me? I haven't even... What? <laughs> We've been dating? We've just been going out on dates, girl. We haven't even asked this guy to be our boyfriend yet. Hold on. Plays something like the clarinet. What else have you been hiding from me? I wasn't hiding anything, Sugar Plum. There is no reason to mention it before. Are you secretly a geek? Is that what this is about? Who is and isn't a geek is subjective. <laughs> you are a geek. I should have known. I bet the real reason you have so many glasses is because you break them all the time. You are tired of having them taped together. <laughs> having to tape them back together. Cute. Are you about- are you just about finished? I don't know. There's still a bunch of kids here. I can't make fun of anyone else. You're truly so generous. Please spare the children and continue to talk about me. I will, but I'm ready to move on to something else. Give me some new material to work with. What kind of material? Stone? Cloth? Wood? Weak. Not good enough. Your dumb jokes are too, <laughs> too easy to poke fun at. You might as well be making fun of yourself with comments like that. You are very simple. Oh, thank you. My apologies. I didn't want to challenge you too much. Uh-huh. Maybe I'll make fun of how I can't rely on you for anything. I don't know how you intend to do that. I'm extremely reliable. Says you. When have I been able to count on you for anything? I showed up here today and the last time too. <laughs> That's all you got? You'd have to be crazy to stand me up. Of course. I can see why. I know you can. You're the, you're the one who pointed out how charming I am. I do enjoy your antics on occasion. I'm big I'm big enough to admit that. Well you are super tall. <laughs> That's very good. What happened to those jokes being dumb, Ducky? I can be dumb sometimes. I'm also pretty tall, you know? True, you are. Hmm. Maybe one day you'll be as tall as I am. That'd be nice. Yeah, yeah. Another fun date, wouldn't you say? Hmm. It had its moments. Groovy. Great. Yeah, I like the dates. It's cute. We're gonna crash and burn at some point, though. Today. <laughs> Today. Day, Ron, and Shiloh. Next. Day. Day. Mm, yes? Sorry, my texts are a little short and slow. I'm getting changed at the moment. You should have waited until you were done to begin a conversation in the first place, silly Billy. Let's do that starting now. Uh-huh, I think I know the real reason you want me to stop texting for a bit. You need a time to settle down after that mental image. Of course, of course. Okay, I'm done. I hope that wasn't too antag uh, uh, agonizing of a wait. The wait was crushing, I assure you. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. No, that doesn't mean this is over. It means we can talk. I'm afraid I might still be too out of sorts for that. Get over it. Fine, sweet pea. It's been gotten over. Alright. You want me to give you something else you'll have to get over? Not particu <laughs> particularly. Character so nasty. nasty. <laughs> Thanks, 
Ice Bay for hanging out at the cafeteria, so I don't have to, like, hunt you down. Well, whose birthday is it? The... No, I don't know whose birthday Or if that was even a birthday. Oh well. we go. The museum is an option. Or we can go back to... Let's go back to the jewelry place. That's almost done. Good afternoon. Hello, Sugar Plum. Hey, Bay. Let's go to the accessory store tomorrow. We didn't get to see any er, see everything last time because of you and your lousy mood. Yo, me. My, what a way to ask someone out on a date, Dumpling. So sorry. <laughs> Even though you asked in such a poor way, I'll still come mm -hmm. with you. Good, Adrian is probably gonna be there, but you better not make it a repeat of last time. I'm sure it'll be fine. Alright, see you then. Bye bye. Bye. You better not make it a repeat. Hiya, Bay. I think I'm gonna look for something for you for this time. How precious. I will love it no matter what you choose. Uh -huh. Oh, are you for real? That's sweet. Hello. Hello, my chico and bae. Thank you for coming. Hey, Adrian. Oh, uh, hello, Twinkle. It's so nice to see you again. Thank you. Uh, is there anything I can do for you? That's wonderful, Twinkle. How wonderful that you offered this time. It's very good that you're paying attention today. Um... Yes? Bay doesn't need anything or to talk to you. But I've got a question. Bay, why don't you go ahead and look at the hair clips or whatever? <laughs> I'll catch up. Certainly, Sunshine. It sounds like a fantastic way to start the state we are on right now. See you. So, what would you like to ask? <laughs> well, for one, I wanted to get back at Bay for being a jerk last time, and also I wanted to know what you thought about him. Huh? Why do you want to know? If you don't mind me asking that. Because I have a feeling it'll be interesting. Okay. I think he's unique. Uh-huh. How so? It's nothing. What? You gotta say more than that. No, it doesn't make any sense. Come on, just tell me. I'm pretty understanding, and I won't tell him. Well... The truth is, something feels wrong <laughs> with what Bay says. What do you mean? <sighs> I... What he says, it's nice, right? But somehow it doesn't feel nice. <laughs> this is too funny. I told you it didn't make sense. No, you're totally right. That's just a humorous way of putting it. What do you mean? I mean, Bay isn't nice. But the things he says are lies. Are you sure? How do you know that? Have you ever heard of sarcasm? Yes. It's a way to show content or to mock something. That's what he's doing. And since you can't tell when someone is being sarcastic, here's a tip. Anything Bay says that could possibly could consider nice is sarcasm. Everything? Yep. More or less, you're definitely better off assuming he doesn't mean it. What should I do when he says something nice then? Should I tell him I don't believe it? No! Just do what you normally do. He'll totally appreciate it. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'm back. Isn't that nice? What did the two of you talk about? I told him you're a sarcastic jerk. What? I thought you didn't care, Starfish. You're welcome. I didn't, but it was so important to you that I feel obligated to do something in your stead. You're welcome. So you made him angry with me then? Nope, I did something else. Either way, now he at least knows you're a scumbag. Oh, how thoughtful of you. You're welcome again. Did you find any nice hair clips? <sighs> no. Okay, I'll help you look. You look on your own. Clearly, we're not doing things together today. Aww. Don't be such a baby. You wanted him to know, didn't you? And it's good that he doesn't get worked up about it. If he did, you could get in trouble. This way, you'll know that deep down he doesn't believe anything you're saying, but won't report you to, to his manager for being a creep or something. Everyone wins. I suppose. That's the spirit. But I had to ask, why did you explain it to him? I would have assumed someone like you would find it more humorous to let him be oblivious. It made me un uncomfortable knowing someone might be mistaking you for a decent guy. Silly me. Oh yes, we wouldn't want that. Nope, we do not. Those are some nice clips I picked out, hmm? Of course. They're my favorite. Uh-huh. Are you gonna ever wear them? Yes, dear. Every day. Right, sure. As we can't see the clips that we bought for our love. Okay. Where are you at, bae? Start a combo. Hang out with these random, ra random people. I, 
I don't know why I said Randabo. What the heck is that? <laughs> XP. And we're gonna X them again. And this is where we're gonna end today's episode. Because it's already 30 minutes. But I hope you guys are excited about Bay's route and the further uh, stories we're gonna have with him. I really love Bay. He like keeps me up. He keeps me up. He makes me laugh. I think he might top Nate and Jeremy, which scares me because Nate, I fell in love with him and his like, his personality in general because it was cold and mean, but there were moments where you noticed that he was nice and then like moments where he just broke down crying, which is really crazy. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful and I'll see you guys in the next one.